Hello and welcome to this special edition of the podcast, where today we'll be analysing Game Show Direct 2024. It was uh, on Saturday night, the 27th of July, and we watched it, and I watched it live with a load of people in my VC. On Sunday night, we invited a load of people into the VC again to talk about it. This included group owners and representatives of most of the groups. Uh, uh, and because this basically went for three hours, we're going to split it into two parts. In the first part, we're going to be talking about Studio 64, the Game Show Channel LP, Game Show League and Arm Productions, and then in the second half, we'll be talking about Horizon, Mikey Does Stuff, The Process of Robloxia, Toff Studios, and we'll be also revealing the exit poll, along with a few questions towards some of the people, uh, some of the group owners that are still there. I should mention that we have representatives from almost every group that took part. Uh, the core, or well, the only people not to show up, or not to send a representative down, was Studio 64, and Armin Productions, though Armin did send us a response to some of the claims we made in the second part, or in this part of the video, which you'll hear later in the second part. So, yeah. But with that, I think I've got all the admin out of the way, so we're going to get on with this straight away, and we're going to go straight into it. This is Game Show Direct 2024, the analysis. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so let's start it off with an announcement or with a run through of existing shows already for Studio 64. We had Spin for a Million where they announced uh, brand new payout changes, I believe is what they said, uh, about brand new rules for the show. And I think I, 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 feel, I said this in, I think I've said this a few times already, but I'll say it again because I feel like it. I think I went too hard on them last year. Especially around Millionaire and the clock strikes back. I do feel like I went a bit, maybe I went a bit too hard on that. But as I've been told a few times already, I think I've been told a few times, uh, they didn't, uh, it's pretty much been canned already anyway because of uh, responses or the response to a situation in the community. Leagues that, but uh, one of the main developers for it getting removed from the community outright. It's what I've been told. A lot of that is what I've been told, but anyway. Uh, they also announced Deal or No Deal, or they once again showed off their giant Deal or No Deal set, as some people were calling it in this VC when they were watching it in here last night. It was apparently it gives, a, apparently it gives my old millionaire sets to run for us money, but mm, I cannot comment any further because I'm, I haven't went to see it myself, so I can't really comment that much on it. Uh, they also showed off their chase set and RP. That's probably going to benefit pretty well from a little bit of a bump in people going to play it. Yeah, Always good to get the RPs. Yeah. And they also mentioned Matrix, which has been described as some people in this VC, i.e. Crusher uh, HDJ5, who is in here right now. Uh, he's described it as literally RNG elimination. Hmm. If, he, if that's what he thinks about, uh, if that's what Crusher thinks about uh, Matrix, I wonder what he thinks about hidden drop zones. I well, know what he thinks about hidden okay. drop zones. <laughs> well, well, we can well, head into this discussion right now. <laughs> Matrix. <laughs> Matrix. You, just you said it. You said it. I'm not coming. I'm not you coming in and say you said it last night. No, that it was basically uh -huh. RNG well, elimination. We have the yeah, we have the tape, run across. We, we have the logs. We have the tapes. You don't. You're not getting away with it. I'm not. Just, I'm not disputing what I said. I'm not disputing what I said. But for for uh, for Matrix, you just run around, run around squares and hope that you, that your square doesn't turn red. With hidden drop zones, you actually have stuff to do. You can nominate people. You can use perks. You can bluff your way. Mm. There's just so much you could do with hidden drop zones compared to Matrix. Like, I feel like they could expand more on that. Maybe, mm -hmm. like, when, like, half the lobby get eliminated or something, instead of adding additional red squares. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. So, they moved on to their new shows very quickly. Time Crisis was the first one announced. And um, we had a little image of the set as well. And this was a very interesting one for me. Is I had 23, by the way. I had 23 shows in the, in the announcement section. Uh, basically, it was described, yeah, 23. But I think I might have had some, ones, some that, um, I think I think I had a few in there that weren't officially announced, but we had teasers for and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, I might explain it. I'll answer that after the show. <laughs> I'll answer, well, I'll answer about the mic after the show. Uh, but basically, it was described as a race of sorts. A quiz race. And, and I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of just trying to describe this off the top of my head or get not just off the top of my game I've opened my head I'm trying to look through I'm um, scrubbing through game show directs again because I don't have my notes and it's an inter- actually thinking about it now I'm looking through it again and it's a very interesting concept I think it's an interesting concept uh, this is time crisis we're talking about uh, it's a race about finding emojis and getting correct answers and trying to get as many correct answers as possible it's an interesting format I think that I think it's trying to be odd one out a little bit as well in some aspects. I'm trying to find the odd one out. It's like a bit like the Cornerstone Arcade from what I'm seeing in images of Cornerstone Arcade game in some aspects or some images. And I think that's interesting. Quiz to Infinity, I've... Um, unless someone wants to correct me on any of that, because I, once again, may have, yeah me and froth that a little bit as again i'm running on very few notes uh it's gonna be my comments tonight uh okay no one's gonna correct me or anything if 64 is in the chats or not in the chat or if there's someone from 64 or 64 here or in the comments uh please correct me on I'm that i mean yeah I'm because it's not yeah i know a lot of people are yeah <laughs> and the chat goes <laughs> wild. Um, damn, an awesome. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the chat you know, goes wild. Uh, from what I remember from the picture, I don't have the document. Up yeah. there. Mm-hmm. After it was you, but uh, it was from the picture that we saw. It was like it reminded me a little bit of. The teachers of finding like a star and in a bunch of clouds. It might mm. you know, beat the off from uh road to Mount Olympia a little bit. Okay. But, uh, time and as we said, close to infinity, I know mm. I'm the one who plucked it. I don't know if someone else agrees with me when I said mm. that. Like limitless win it in a bit mm. where you can go on. <laughs> and uh, I was literally about to go on to limit, uh, under Quest of Infinity and I it sounds as well like um, sounds like um, another sounds show like, title uh, uh, one. No, Ro- one. no it sounds a bit like the title sounds a bit more like Road to Olympia to me in that uh, in a little bit of that uh, the old UG show that didn't do, uh, that had a bit uh, went to controversy and uh, oh, yeah, in when it became a community show, uh, prize of a billion pound of oh, billion dollars in in this, uh, in this, uh, hey. Studio 64 show, probably gonna be one of okay. the biggest I prizes think I, I think I've ever seen for a show in this community. I think it could possibly go higher, yeah. I believe um, it, I believe it's it's too, I, believe it's I think it's just that, but yes, they're, they're just. I would like to point out this little tidbit as well. This is a tidbit that anyone, I don't think anyone else has mentioned. And I've seen uh, moment, uh, people saying, oh, yeah, it's preposterous and nuts. Uh, to, put, uh, uh, to mention something else, the payout structure is very similar to the original format version of, I think it's Deal or No Deal is what I'm thinking of, or the predecessor to Deal or No Deal, I think it's called The Chance of a Lifetime, where players build up a pot, uh, literally by adding, starting at one, they get one dollar, they start with one, and they keep, and every question correctly, they answer correctly, add zeros to the amount, oh, so, oh, I know, I know what you're talking one about. One pound becomes ten pounds, ten pounds, hundred, hundred, thousand, etc. up until, yeah, I they, know what you're talking about. Uh, I see. I'm seeing something similarities to that as well. Yeah, but I guess the, the concept. Yeah, one six zero as well a little bit. Uh, but I will say that it's going to come down to how they produce it. Because I think if it is a general knowledge quiz or straight up general knowledge quiz, it's going to run into I think a few issues similar to 
well, as a, as a original format, I think it's going to run into a problem where that old the predecessors is all over. I think it's I think it's D chances than Lebanon or something along those lines. I'm not, I think I've, I have read about that predecessor as well, but yeah, essentially it might run into format issues with that, but I think it's going to come down to how they execute it because I think if they go towards numbers, number numeral questions, they just are going to get called limitless win. It's just that simple, I think. But I think it's going to come down to how they execute the format. They also announced Inquisition, a show which I think is underrated. I think a lot of people have problems with it, but Inquisition, I think, is an interesting format. Or a very tame format, in punctuated with a very interesting host. In that It was a predecessor to Weakest Link in some aspects of it. Uh, of its production dark dingy set with a very mean host and I think this is going to be a very interesting one as well to watch out for because I because it's also it's also had the play along aspect I believe in GSN when GSN did it in the 90s so something else I might be interested might be interested to see is whether they do that along with it especially as play along shows are becoming more and more of a thing uh, Double Cross was another show they announced and I'm bringing some help to describe this um, because they described it as a multi-round format I think the main bit or the main gimmick of the show is the floor and it um, the floor becomes and, amazing and really been round actually and on first glance I'm thinking okay are they going to put the answers on the floor like Bridget Lies this is just basically going to be trying to but uh, the, um, but, uh, trying to make Bridget Lies a thing. And I have I think after I said it, after I heard a bit of the format, I think I kind of thought, no, they're not. Uh, it's being refer- uh, being compared to the, or uh, the name of the show is being compared to the pricing game from Price is Right, Double Cross. What, I ha- what, I, what I'm surprised to see is no one's actually picked up on the fact that um, it's a, uh, they could have also had the Wipeout Round Double Cross as well. Yep. But I, but I found the document though. Of the first ah. of but, yes. Uh, basically, uh, contestants face off in, in trivia rounds earning as many possible points. Mm. If they get a question wrong, they get a strike. If they get three strikes, the the opposing team automatically moves on to round two. Mm. And this is where the game board comes into play. So this would be their main gimmick. The main mm-hmm. the main gimmick of the show would be the for that. So yeah. Sound spaces will either speed up, slow down, or completely change the game on its head. Force your players to switch, go back to start. And everything mm. is randomized except for the last three spaces. Okay, so I'm actually picking up another show here. And this is quite simply another show I'm thinking of off the top of my head is the Australian Kids series, Go Go Stop. A show where people are literally, uh, where kids get, and this is literally a kids show in Australia, or it was a kids show in Australia about 20 years ago. Basically, the players are on a game board, a fairly square game board, uh, six by five, trying to make it down to the bottom of the stage or make it down stage by moving onto screens below them or moving across onto screens. And basically each screen has been randomized to either have an arrow, a question, etc., or stop sign where you stop, obviously. So I think that in itself is again going to be, if that's the case, going to be very close it's to that format as well. So that's something else I would probably consider keeping on. I think there's a bit more to it as well, if I'm correct. Or is that it? Um, that's all that I have said for the document. Okay. And then we have a partnership with the with Comet Studios. Um, Comet Studios, uh, the group that I've probably called in the last week, uh, yeah, in the last week, the uh, successor to Aperion. Mm-hmm. I just hope it doesn't go the same way as a period, but actually, I do mean that literally, and don't mean that ironically. I really hope they do well. Yeah, with that, the um, you're just getting the hard burden of 
appearing on appearing mm. on that. Just right don't, just so. just just don't just don't try and do ten shows at once, please. Um, <laughs> straight off the bat, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's a partnership show with Comet Studios. It's Wheel of Fortune, the first of many times you're going to hear the words Wheel of Fortune tonight. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. <laughs> but there we go again. What? Don't get a live count. Even though there's two there's one good news and one bad news. Good news. They're using the UK set. Which is very nice, I will say. But it's a very sadly, nice set. sadly, it's under the American rule set. Oh. That's that's not a surprise. I mean, in the UK, the recent UK version, obviously, of the recent UK adaption and the Australian adaption, also uh, are under the new US or under the current US rule set, a decision that really hampered them in the actual TV rankings for ITV because everyone has a very, uh, very, very um, consistent mindset about Wheel of Fortune in the UK. It's even Nicky Campbell or Bradley Walsh. And if it's Bradley Walsh, and you're thinking of Bradley Walsh, you watch too much challenge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, chat's going crazy right now. Yeah. This is an interesting one. I think it's going to be one of those shows where, or I think I give them kudos for not doing the US set again. Yeah. I think it's becoming more of a thing where we're not seeing US sets on... We're the fortunate anymore as, as much as we used to, especially now that the uh, Armand Productions adaptation is going, is well, has, it's been going now for a couple of seasons and has proved that you don't need a US set to do Wheel of Fortune, I'd imagine. That's what I would, mm -hmm. I would argue. Pop so, yeah, kind of and that's wrapped up like the. The uh, 264 portion of the event, and for me, it was a very mixed bag, bag section. I think they had some very interesting concepts there, but I also think that they need to refine it. I will say it's always a good thing to see a group doing more original sh shows, and I'm very happy to see that in general, as someone who has been advocating for originals and exclusives and all that for a very long time, I'm very happy to see more original shows. Uh, yeah, I'm not too... I think a lot of people aren't too happy to see World of Fortune, especially after the amount of times I was mentioned last night. Wow. Um, or, but I think they got away, or I think the reaction was slightly better because they... Or the first. Yeah basically just got lucky and were the, fir were the first people up. So, yeah, I think that also helped a little bit. Um, next up, the well, Game Show Channel. Didn't help for me. Well, next up was Game Show Channel. And I think all I'll do is I'll bundle them into two, into two of the, I'll bundle two at a time, I think. And then we'll go to people about this. And TGC, I believe it's only been back for a couple months. I'm, I've said this, oh, and you got very lucky. Yeah, yeah, and no, they came back very recently, uh, fairly recently in the last few months. And you got lucky, Yellow. Uh, you got very lucky because one of the questions that I almost put in but didn't was, were you aware that TGC uh, was revived again prior to the Game Show Direct announcement? You got lucky on that one because I was tempted to put that one in but decided against doing it. Um... I don't know if that's lucky or um, not good. To be honest with you here, hmm. that come the revival was supposed to be like very quiet. I actually barely tell anybody about the revival. It was supposed mm. to be like very like sudden. So, so it like, was actually so it was actually meant to be quiet. So it was actually like a soft revival, quiet revival. Yes. Mm. Well, yes. Welcome, yeah, I didn't well, expect it to go very. Yeah. Oh, welcome back. I mean, to be fair, I think uh, no one's expecting to, uh, expecting things to go too big these days, but you know, that's just how it is. But welcome back, and yeah, welcome back. I guess welcome back to the community TGC. Uh, now, this is an interesting one for me because I think you only had three announcements or four announcements, and this is going to be very interesting because I might as well spoil the results of the poll or well, some of the results of the poll right now. Uh, whilst you're in here before you oh my God. run off 
No, no, no. This is this because it's interesting, and I'll reveal the poll poll and fool at the end. But I'll go through the shows first. And first, you announced there was a Price Is Right episode coming up. Uh, that was coming up pretty soon, and yeah, it was a very no. It was a, it, the, the reaction was pretty well done. I'd imagine it's good reaction. I can't really say much because I don't really do too much on Price Is Right. It's just. Yeah, for me, it's there. <laughs> but I think that's going to be interesting to see, I'd imagine. Uh, Family Feud uh, was announced. And I've mentioned this a few times to people in here outside of this podcast and all that. But I, I think I've mentioned, I might mention it during the podcast. I think Family Feud is currently just going through its real high point right now in the community. It's It really is. I've seen multiple groups doing really well. I think Armand said as well a couple of weeks ago that it broke the record or the viewership record. I may have to fact that, check that off Armand afterwards, but I do remember seeing an announcement or something along those lines for it or for, uh, with him saying it, but it seems like it's going through this really, really big upturn all of a sudden. Uh, this was the only announcement of Family Fortunes this, uh, tonight as well. I will just, family Feud. Well, fa- family Feud. Ugh. I've been watching too much Family. The, I've been <laughs> watching too much it. British Family Fortunes. That's just. Ha- yeah, I mean to be fair, I won't give you marks for um for the, for the US then, version. And tis less Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but if it's, it's up uh, there, if it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. <laughs> it's interesting because I think Family Fortune, uh, Family Feud. Sorry, is. An interesting one right now because it's kind of in a weirdly really opposition because I think everyone bar Almond Productions right now and maybe I think one of the other groups from Drummers as well currently doing a US adaptation. Uh, Armand doing I think um, it's Croatian yeah. version five and five and uh, Drummers doing the Australian version which has four players instead of the five. So yeah, but I don't think that really matters right now because yeah. How many people beat my numbers in 2019? I think it's higher than it's higher now than in what it used to be. It is higher now than what it was in 20, uh, 2019, I think. I, that's my take on it. But I don't. 5570. Damn. I mean, to be fair, I've not really looked at my numbers. Well, I don't look at my numbers anymore, so I can't really compare it to anything else. I might look at other people's numbers, but I won't look at mine. But I think, yeah, it was apparently, yeah, picking up prices right numbers. And I think, yeah, I'm saying a lot of thinking, yeah, but I think I'm right in thinking that right now it is a very, very good time if you're doing Family Feud. Just generally speaking, it is currently, it's just doing really well. And I think people are just trying to think or try. I think what's happened tonight as well is maybe with that um, Wheel of Fortune announcements, I think what I'm wondering is are people trying to think or trying to make Wheel of Fortune the next family feud in that upturn, that huge swing in numbers as well, especially with the amount of groups that announced it last, uh, last night. Might be a question for you guys to debate down in the, in the, in the general chats and comments as well. Uh, yeah, and then we have a very interesting announcement from game uh, from you guys at TGC. Cash Cave. Original format. And but a very vague announcement as well. And it was a vague announcement, and I'm not sure what to say about it. And I'll tell you why I'm not sure what to say about this, because I've been the guy on the exit poll this year. And it's last year as well. But I can tell you right now that. This is a very interesting one because whilst Yellow's in here as well, it won the exit poll. It is ironically won the exit poll by a landslide. It was named best new show by a lands by over double uh, second place. It was named best new sh- uh, most ambitious new show by over well by twelve votes by a twelve vote landslide and did and almost and won the hidden gem award by double as well almost double as well. Oh, I don't know what's going on. 
I actually do not know what's going on. But people have seemed to kind of just coalesce around a show called Cash Cave, which we have barely any information about outside of the name. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm actually going to put this question out there to now. Uh, now, did anyone here in the exit poll put, uh, because the exit poll was anonymous pretty much and I did not get a word in, did anyone in this VC, or I'll put it into the thing as well, Vote, ca- uh, vote, cash cave in any of those three categories, and do they and um, do they have a reason why? Just genuinely asking this because I I am miffed because this was an, an announcement that was very vague for me. I, I don't remember my pool, but I I don't think I did. No, I, I don't think I don't think I. Did. Um. I voted, but I didn't think I put cash key at all. So I can't remember. I mean, to be fair, I did actually end up adding in, and I'll talk more about the how we did the the poll later. How we got the uh, got to the point, but maybe maybe you haven't reason why my yellow paper, like why. Did Cash Cave do so well in that gen- in that poll in the poll generally? Is probably what I'm going to say. I honestly did not expect it to go very well. Um, mm. That was probably um, honestly um, going to be really honest. That was a show that I had mixed feelings about, mm. like deeply. I I have mixed feelings about it to this day because I'm gonna read. I'll read some bits of the concept to you, and. Yeah. You all know if you was here in the game show community in 2020, a you might remember this name from people and this um concert. This concept um four years ago was introduced to me by I will not say his name, but if you was in the game show community around, you probably do already know that you heard this name before. And I actually was being like, if you listen, it was going to be pitched to TGC and possibility GSL, but the concert was too terrible then. So, well, I pull up the link for um, Cash Cave. Is that what it is? Yeah, Cash Cave. Mm-hmm. Um, like, like, truly, like, hold on. Okay, I found it. Um, so, six players, um, from the document I'm reading, six players, um, round one, you answer many questions as possible in 30 seconds. One correction correct equals one point. Um, and then there's like Russian, it's kind of like, and here comes a bit of rushing, Russian roulette. Um, you get eliminated um, for each round. And hold on, wait a minute. Actually, for this round, you don't get eliminated, but round two comes up, a person gets eliminated. And then round two is kind of like a price is right thing. Round three, it's like Scrabble, just a little bit like Scrabble. Round four is, I actually have no idea. That's probably the worst one ever. And then the final round, it's kind of like the weakest link. If if you want to put it in that way, it's like the weakest link. Um, so what, according like to the guy who out. made it, it, it's like a big game show mashup. And I actually had mixed feelings about it because, you know, in TGC, mm-hmm. we're like very fucking American. And I'm not going to lie. We are fucking American as hell. And that's mm-hmm. what I'm trying to push away <laughs> towards. And actually, recently, I've been trying to push away towards, which you're going to hear in a little bit. Mm-hmm. And um, that's why I still have mixed feelings about it. Honestly, mm-hmm. uh, um, I probably do have a reason but I honestly don't, I truly don't know. Like, mm. I have a feeling that I know why, it, that I know why it got so high. But I don't want to make my full assumption just yet. Yeah. So. I mean, I will just say it now, and I'm not going to go too much into the exit poll right now. I'll get into the exit poll a bit later. I was going to say, originally, um, it was originally voted quite hardly by uh, when we checked, uh, when I checked. It originally, uh, about 11 o'clock last night, I checked it and I saw, oh yeah, is a load of spammers and they're all voting cash cave at first and we get rid of, and 
this year we did something different than we normally do. We actually got rid of any copy pastors or people who didn't watch the show prior. And that took out quite a lot of people. And then even after that, and after the and then as the poll and as more came in, it ended up getting higher and higher to the point where it was actually just landslide. It was, yeah. It's surprising that I, I'm surprised at how well it's done. Obviously, as someone who's not in TTC and, and not in a lot of these servers, I should add, and probably should be, uh, it's it seems like something that maybe could become the next big thing in the community, especially if it's got the weight, that much of weight of a weight of, of the weight behind it in the polls. I mean, we're at a phase right now with this show that I literally can't, like, I'm not, I'm not creative mm. at all. And mm. no, I should be, but you know, you know, my mind is very bland. Like we have even thought about a set. We, we figure out the concept. We figure out the logo. I don't know. It looks pretty bland to be honest, but I mean, you can always say it's a prototype. We don't, we, like we're in a, we're in a spot right now that we have no idea, like, where we're going, what are we going to do? How are we going to build the set? How is this going to look like? Are we sure that it's going to be the best of there to have a huge American mashup? Because you see in there, it's like fucking prices, right? Um, I don't know. Mm. Isn't I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading the document. I, I truly, we're at a mm. phase right now that we got the concept. We're just we're just brainstorming brainstorming ideas, and I definitely mm. now that you tell me about spammers, I do feel like it could be a reason because there's I would, there's I no will type say, of. I will say those spammers I mentioned those votes didn't count. I will just mention that as well. They didn't get counted towards the the final result. They were removed. Um, you removed those out of that. When it, when the answer came, it was in. still it was still by a landslide, right? But it, and it was still by a landslide. Like it was and still by a landslide. Honestly, you'll see the you'll see no the results idea. later. You'll see the results later, and just, and that was and that's the final one we did. The, the final results at about at seven o'clock tonight, or just about an hour ago, and that was the final result. And it is still a landslide. So you have a hard. You, I, I hate to say it, and I and I don't want to put any pressure on you. But as a result of that, of clean sweeping the free show polls that there were, you now have high, very high expectations to deliver. And I hope you do I deliver. I really do have high expectations, but I'll make, <laughs> I'll make sure. I'll and let, yeah. I'll let. And yeah, uh, obviously, la and the last show announced by TGC was Countdown, which, yeah, it was. Ooh. It's an interesting one because I think. Did you know that? Uh, uh, obviously, right. I'd imagine you knew that the uh, Game Show League were already doing countdown. So obviously, you were. I'm imagining your line of thought was, yeah, doing the current or the. I was the a little bit version. around when she just did it. Mm. Mm, I was well. I was a little bit around. I was a little bit involved with GSO during that time, whenever they did Countdown, because I was still hosting there. <laughs> and that I, I do remember that show being the absolute most worst fucking thing ever. <laughs> um, no, I love you, that boy, so much. But, um, damn. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I remember. And, um, um, I mean, I mean, honestly, how did that happen was like, Doge, Doge, Ren, Poker was all in the chat talking about countdown, countdown, countdown. I'm like, what the hell is a countdown? And then I look, <laughs> and then, and then I looked, and then I looked at it. And I was like, oh, oh, it's that show GSO then. And honestly, to this day, I still don't know what that concept is. So I'm gonna watch shows because <laughs> obviously, obviously they want they want me to do it. So I mean. They they want to try it, and the last I mean, time they the last time a popular group has done it, it failed tremendously. And mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's, really don't. Yeah. It's the most yeah. basic game show you'll ever get. Mm. I was I was actually the, the I was going to mention as well, obviously, because 
I think this will be the third version of Countdown in the community. Um, I know that Jay, uh, or Real, as he's in the, in the VC, obviously also announced it as well, or re-announced Countdown during the Game Show Direct as well. So that's going to be interesting to see. I think that, I say you've re-announced, because you, I think you, I, I remember seeing announcements for a year in I advance. I must say that I've known JJ was, I, I've mm. known JJ was doing Countdown for like, mm. I don't know. It's because I heard it from Poco too, so. Yeah. I don't know. And plus, that script, well, yeah, that, that, that was in development like a year ago. That's what I last heard it from, but I didn't yeah, that's know well. that. But, um, I mean, you can obviously tell I didn't write all of my scripts, so. Yeah, that's I fair enough. Like, I wrote, like, the first half, and that's it, so. That's fair enough. I didn't want right. to get too involved with Game Show Direct. Mm. I didn't really want to get too involved with Game Show Direct. That's why I tried mm. to get straight to my point. Get the fuck out of it, so. Yeah, it was, a, it was a short presentation that got right to the point, and I don't think you could have asked for it. Uh, I don't think anyone could have asked for anything more than that, really. I think I think that's why you one of the best strategies to go to Game Show Direct with, just having that straight up um just having the knowledge just straight up um going to with it the knowledge of oh yeah we're gonna i go wish i wish i had more time to be mm. more creative with it but like you know like i have better how, things to do how tight Honestly, was it Games for Direct was my last mm. what do you mean how tight was it because obviously if you obviously what do you mean by how tight it was? between saying yes and filming or deciding what was going to be said in filming. That's why that's why I'm asking. Or is it or is it oh, something I had like, to, oh, oh, it, I had to rewrite the script? Well, mm. it's because I had to rewrite the script like two different times because originally that's what I was on the original script, I was supposed to announce Wheel of Fortune. But you know, I you know, Waffle rushed on that and Waffle gave Waffle brought it out early so probably like a good thing early so probably a good thing you didn't announce tonight i'd imagine so I, <laughs> uh, I didn't um, want to i and honestly i don't want to oh, screw you waffle but um whoa i don't know <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> no need for a flame war tonight no need for a flame war <laughs> no. I, i'm not i'm not getting involved i am oh. not getting involved in this nope standing nope. back Oh, yeah, I had, to rewrite, I had to rewrite the script two different times to the point that the last time I wrote the script, I genuinely just didn't want to do it anymore. So fair enough. If, if, I, I know, I know who wrote. I know, I know. Like literally, like I couldn't hear a single word what he was telling. Okay, mm -hmm. well, he wrote half of the script. He wrote the second half of the script because I had no idea what this cascade thing, what he was gonna do with cascade. Also, I know what the fuck is a countdown, and I just found out what countdown was. So, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of episodes on YouTube. Um, I would recommend the um, what's it called, uh, the eight out of ten cats ones as well. If you if you just want to watch it. For for laughs, if you want research with, oh, for laughs and you want to laugh short, uh, and have a bit of comedy with it, but if you want to watch it straight, then that should be there are a load of episodes from like the noughties, no, and I think a few from the nineties as well, around. So it should be easy, very easy to find. Mm. That's but yeah, um, but yeah, uh, yellow. Congratulations, um, congratulations on success on a very successful game show direct. And yeah, uh, well done, well done. Thank you, and thanks for speaking to us. Um, and we now move along from uh, TGC to oh god, I am not going to be like joining and pronounce this properly. I'm going to say I'm going to use it. I'm going to use a shorthand LP. Come on, pronounce it. Pronounce no, it. no, no, do it. Pronounce it. Do no. it. Pronounce no. it. The last time I announced it. Do last time. Do the, it. Last, the last. <laughs> the last. Time, okay. The last time I announced it. All right. I think, or I said it, or I said the name. I I think I struggled very badly. I mean, I struggled very badly. I think it's during one of the podcast recordings as well. But I'm not gonna say it again. Let's just put it that way. Uh, oh come <laughs> on! At least you can no. edit it if you mispronounce it. No, I'm not gonna edit it. You know what I'm like. Um. Uh, la la pop, pop wow. Yeah. La la um, pop, 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 pop
Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it again. No offense. No offense. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, I, think right. I, I, know, I think I know development of most of the shows that got announced, so I can add mm. some stuff. I think yeah, that's the going to take uh, uh, take them for this one. I think it's gonna be. A, I'm, I'm really, I think that's going to be a few questions here from me, but not much um, because I think they announced or they discussed everything very well to the point where I think people were getting a bit frustrated by it a little bit. So you are ex- announcing or describing every format. I think that was a bit of a difficult one because oh, yeah. I didn't see the script I, either. I, I had no mm. access to the script. It was just they no. filmed it. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I'm not saying you did. Um, but yeah, it's, okay. I'm going to cut through these announcements quickly. Uh, a thousand heartbeats. I think that one doesn't need much of a synopsis already. But love it. I think yeah. this is a good one. I think this is a good show. Yeah. I think this is a good. I love what they decided good... to do with the uh, the BPMs. Mm. It's, it's really it's like... the best solution they could have done to avoid having to fucking actually get heart rate monitors and send them out. And let's be real, yeah. no one in the community is going to do that. Yeah. Like if you uh, genuinely hands up right now, if you would try to do that, I do it. Hell, I do it. <laughs> I do it. Of course you would do it, or of course you would. <laughs> show it on direct. Show it on Game Show Direct 2025. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, there you go. That's your first uh, GSL show for 25. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know you guys don't do anything after 2000. Realistically, or 2003 or four. Um, I think this is going to be. I think it's. I think I, I like One Thousand Heartbeats as a show. I really do. Oh, yeah, it's, it's such. A I good think show. it's a I great choice it. for them to do it. I'm. I know that you were hyping up um, Lucas's uh, developing abilities and programming abilities. SSJ. I think it was you. Was yeah hyping him up, spinning yeah. it to free, spinning up our expectations. You could say. Um, yeah, I mean, I've lost my audio again. That's not nice. There we go. I think it's back. Uh, dodgy cable tonight. Dodgy cable. But I think, yeah, this is a good show. Doesn't get seen enough in the community. And it's one of those shows where I think it's really good to see like something like this in the community. Yeah. Something this a, is like this is like an original show that no one else, you know, no one else is going to do. Or yeah. if it has been done, a, or people have done or have tried to do, have just faltered in development. And I don't mean to be yeah. rude at all for even a wise or kevin a wise or anything like that but i mean there's a lot of mm. great shows out there that nobody's done in the community mm. there's a lot mm-hmm. of good stuff out there yeah there's a lot yeah but yeah it's very exciting i might actually head off to see that one live when they do it um yeah and that was that only real show announced or that only real returning show announcements or everything else here was either pre-announced or pretty much yes. uh, or or revivals or reconfirmations or whatever you want to call it uh let's start with catch me if you can which i'm interested about this uh-huh. one it's i've been it's, told it's based it's, off a european format ssj if you want to take it go ahead as you try and try and explain uh, this. yeah it's basically based off a european format so it's basically just a giant game of uh what's the word uh ludo or something yeah it's basically mm-hmm. based off that it's been done for a while by LP, so it seems to be mm. going popular and it's carrying on. We've got another mm. series of it. Interesting. Yeah. So, so essentially Ludo, but as a quiz in a studio. Is what, yeah, is what you're yeah, makes well. I will just say, if you've got, if you've got this wrong, um, and Luca and all that, oh, I do hear this. I don't I work think, on dude, that show. Dude, you're going to be in a bit of trouble, I'd imagine. Um, Oh, yeah. I'll be having a P45 on my doorstep. SSJ, quick, which direction do they move? Uh, That would be anti-clockwise, I think. Damn it, you're correct. Yay! Yay. (laughs) You just want a thousand pounds. Uh, Here comes your question for two thousand pounds. I'm millionaire. I think it's it's an all right concept. Ludo as a quiz is an is an all right concept. Um, yeah. I can't really say much about it. I've not seen it. 
I'm not actually seen much footage of it, and I'm hoping to see some footage to go and see it at some point in the future. I can't really make any judgments on this already, and I guess it's good to see another original or an exclusive in this case for the community. And I think LP and also 64, I think very, very high amount or very large number of originals and exclusives. I think they had the most show announcements between no uh, between the two of them tonight than anyone else. Out of the 23. So it was really yeah. interesting to see that. And that actually also the reasons why we had to give everyone in the small se- in, the, in the smaller group section uh, their own, like, their own question. Oh. Legitimately. Um, I'm not, I wish I, uh, we were going to put them all in one, but there's a limit to how many we can put in one question. And there's all the questions. Uh, next up, they yeah. announced Pressure Pad. A show that I've actually seen, which is Mm-hmm. Uh, and surprisingly, yep. the first time we uh, first time time show for this community as well. Pressure Pad, formerly hosted by yep. John Barrowman on I think it was BP Two uh, or BP One. I think it was both both channels. Yeah, I think had it so... at one point or another. And yeah, uh, it's mini games or trivia based mini games where depending on how you do, you either or where you could well depending on how you do if you lose. You will lose a team member. Uh, there's a final as well, and there's a rolling jackpot mm-hmm. as well. It's very a bit based, like it's a, very, a bit like pointless with that rolling jackpot. I'd argue, but I think it's just that phase at the time the BBC were going through where they were just having on daytime every, like rolling jackpots on every show. It was like a phase that they were going through trying to emulate the success of pointless, which they haven't really done since, or, which they still haven't really done yet. There's been a few false awakenings there, but they haven't done it. It's, yeah, it's a good show. I think this will do well with the, for them. I think this will do well, and I think this is going to, this is a good choice of a show, and I think Luca will do a very good job developing it. And then we get to the shows that are probably going to be less well-received, because the next three shows were shows that were well, they were shows, or they are shows that have been done in other places as well. We have Beat the Chasers, The Chase, and The Wheel of the Fortune. Uh, this is yeah, the second time The Fortune. It. <laughs> yeah. 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 50, yeah. 50, yeah. 50 pence into the jar, I'm afraid. Uh, no, Gilles. And I see why they've done the, And I think The Chase is. A good, obviously, I think the chase have done pretty well for them so far. Yeah, and there are, this. and they have the RP as well. So they have the resources to do it, so I won't complain or I won't comment on it too much. Realistically, it makes sense. Yeah. It makes perfect sense why they're doing it. They have the stuff for it, and it's already there. Makes perfect sense. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, beat the chasers as well was announced. Was this announced or was this reconfirmed? I can't remember, or confirmed again. Uh, it was, it was, we announced it uh, in like a couple of months. We mm. announced it on the, I sent the announcement yesterday. already confirmed to be happening, but this was just double confirmation to people who hadn't, were in the server. Mm. Uh, I can say it's going to be the UK set, I think. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be the UK. And all I will say is uh, yeah. good luck. Good luck trying to clear ITV clearance. Uh, trying to clear that with ITV. Oh yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. I'll, we'll probably have to. We'll probably have to code name it or something. Yeah, yeah. I already know well, what we're doing for hours. Sorry, how that uh, And yeah. then we have We the Fortune. This is uh, the graphic is based off of the twenty twenty four UK. Yeah, tw- 20, no, it's a 20, oh yeah, 2024 UK set. So could yeah, this be two UK, UK variants at one time? Potentially. Uh, uh, but it also might it. have things from the US set. It looks like the US one, UK one. I think it is. But as the question is, is that a placeholder I, image or is that what they're going for? SSJ, do you have the answer to that? I, I, I think I can say we're going for, I think we're going to do the UK 24. Hmm. So that's going to be conflict are, of yeah. interest then. Um, so yeah, it's I don't be... know which rule set we're using, but I think we're going for the 24 set. So... Yikes. So that's going to be an interesting one, I think. Uh, a little bit of a battle going on between 62 64 and Comet versus LP. 
yeah. uh, on that one. Very interesting yeah. to see how that goes. Yeah. But yeah. And then we have an interesting one here. And I, and I, this is a very interesting one because I don't think uh, this is a modification to a show that was made officially mm-hmm. by one, uh, by the production in one country, but it's yet to be done anywhere else in the community. This is the first time that I've heard it and it's technically considered a new show. It's the chase of double trouble. And yep. I don't know what to make about this because I'm 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 kind of leaning negatively towards this, yeah. and, I'll ex- and I'll explain why because I think the double trouble decision or the double trouble rule set hinders the show slightly more than it actually helps the show. I think yeah. because you have this convoluted big twist in the middle, and it's not like a twist like on Deal or No Deal where we. Or do an order that we've done in here, or the Wheel of Fortune yes. stuff we've done, or the potential, even or the stuff I've been talking about potentially for Family Fortunes, if we ever do that. This is a very twisty format point that I don't like too much. And it's not anything against LP as well, by the way. This is generally a thing that I'm not too big on. But I, has anyone in here actually seen um, Double Trouble on the Chase? And do they have and what um, does anyone have opinions on it? I'm gonna ask this um, genuinely. Uh, okay. Well, I have seen episodes. Uh, it's, I mean, there is some evolving of choice, I believe, but hmm. I don't know how we are gonna do it. Well, I know it's, it's been announced, so we will probably, hmm. probably have some episodes of it and then see what happens with viewer ratings and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm, get, I'm getting a very quiet room. I'm reading a very quiet room about this. Um, <laughs> yeah, very quiet I room. Don't room think about this is, I don't think there's much hype about this announcement, I'm afraid, um, in the room right now. Yeah, no. oh, it's, yeah I get it, because it's because we've been doing the chase for now. This will be Series 6 in Australia, mm. and then obviously we'll be adding that on, so I don't think Many people were expecting, like, I think everyone was going, Oh, wow, well, another chase series. I think they were just like, Oh, yeah, they're bringing it back again. So, yeah, yeah, I think generally speaking, it was a just chase, like, it was a chase, it was a weird. I think doing the chase, double trouble, it was, it's a cool, but I don't think it's going to be cool that pays off. And that's just my opinion on it. I think this. I think this gimmick will. I think it's just like the Australian version. I think this gimmick will wear off very quickly. Um, yeah. And then yeah, I, have, just like one, cool. like I just feel like it's one. I just feel like it's one of those things they're going to overuse a lot. What you think Australia mm-hmm. will overuse yeah. it? Or LP. No, with the uh, double trouble. What and who and who LP or or the Australian version itself? Uh, LP. Hmm. You yeah. think uh, I will it's... say this because I know the last couple of episodes I saw you guys, y'all did do double trouble. Like, yeah, the, those were season finale specials. I don't have any influence on what episode types we do. Uh, I know what episode you're talking about. You're talking about the uh, 2K specials, I think. Yeah, we did, they did do that then, but I think this is the confirmation it's going to be an actual series apart from not just special episodes. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I will say this is a uh, you you guys did do it better than I say with the Australia is because unlike the Australian one, uh, the team picked uh in the final chase the team picked one chaser, and that's yeah. it. There's no like fortune halfway for you. Which yeah, yeah, I think that's Which, probably what we're gonna stick with unless. Yeah, things change. I kind of prefer it that way. It's of like you just pick one chaser and then you just deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then they announced, and it's probably the most divisive thing I've seen all year for Game Show Direct. I think this is the most divisive thing I've ever, I think I've seen for the year for Game Show Direct this year. Uh a community wide event two years of LP Portal to the Past. Um. An attempt. Yeah. This is the first thing. I think it's the first attempt at a big community-wide event since God knows how long. It's been years. 
Um, maybe the last mm-hmm. Pride, I think Pride event. Toph was the last one. Oh no, because they haven't done the. Oh no, it might actually no, it probably wasn't. It was probably um, North Pole twenty three or, or not North Pole twenty three. North Pole twenty two or twenty one would probably be the last ones. Uh, last time we've had an event from a uh, community wide event, generally speaking. Uh, and I don't know yeah. what to make of this. Because personally speaking, I feel like this will benefit as a one way benefit for LP. It's putting yeah. portals into shows that take you to a hard world. And it might be the first example of I I I I'm not I'm I'm big on the concept of having a hub world for shows. So one place where you can have your schedule or uh, your show schedule for, for your group, and then the place, the places you can go to in there. I like that idea, but I don't know whether yeah. having it be for every group in the community or having inviting other groups in the community to do it will benefit them that much. It's like the yeah, I, because I'll tell you this a little bit. I was actually offered to join in on that, mm. but I turned it down because I was too unsure and i was more thinking like if it's for you guys why not focus on yourself mm. i know you want to get involved but i don't really see the big picture when it's supposed to be focused on you guys and your community. Mm. You know, in a i i think i'm in a similar position as well because i think as I said, it's, it feels more towards or more biased and weighted towards LP as the presenting group, more so than other events where we've had presenting groups and all that. So you think about North Pole, you think about the Pride events, uh, JC Halloween of Horrors from years back as well. Even the even stuff yeah. like the like the Golden Awards. Um, yeah, there is bias towards the host group, but at the same time. It's not this much bias, I don't think. Hallway was also in the mix, so that's why I should also add it. I think this is I, heavily weighted. I think more the plan towards- of the event is to involve the community as much as we can. Mm. Obviously, we will, obviously our group and its counterpart, which is running the event, will uh, obviously try to uh, involve them as much as we can by uh, providing events and stuff. Also, uh, the event is going, I think, the event is looking good so far. There is a mm. countdown game which you can look at. I think so. Only time tells what we can review. What you'll see. I, I mean, the trailer it. did show yeah. the, the portals, which is a very oh, yeah. which I don't know how he's done that. Um, That's really I would say good. Those portals really actually do look amazing. It looks a bit. It looks a bit like the millionaire hook place you see uh-huh. in India. The middle of the host entrances you see. Oh in yes, um, the KBC, KBC the KBC entrances. Yeah, uh, but I think right now my take is, unless I think I see more benefits for the people outside of LP or groups outside of LP, I think it's going to yes. be a very difficult sell to other groups. That's my take yeah. on it. Uh, that's my opinion on it. But I think it, overall it was yeah. like, oh, I've got a DM. Uh, sorry, I've hit Prime up with the, um, I've hit Prime up with the exit poll, by the way, because obviously Prime was organizing the event. I've sent him the exit poll like, was when it was ready. Um, so yeah, I just said, uh, someone's back on him about that. But yeah, this is basically, this for me, LP is almost a mixed bag. I do mm-hmm. like some concepts they, or some ideas that they have. I like a thousand heartbeats. I like the concept of a hub game. I I'm I'm actually quite high on pressure pad as well, but I have stuff there as well that I don't feel so high on. And overall, it's a very, very difficult one for me to categorize. I think it was middle of the road. Mm-hmm. This is probably how I'm gonna say it, but obviously I think SSA will like or will try to disagree with me on that one. Uh, disagree with what? Sorry. Climate uh, change. Climate change. Mm. Right. Uh. Mm. I mean, 
Sorry, could you repeat what you think I'll disagree with you with? Because I wasn't really. Um, my it. assessment of the of LPs of LPs Game Show Directs, generally speaking. I mean, middle, mid. I mean, it, to be fair, it was our debut appearance, so we didn't really oh, have a yeah. gist of oh how how big do we go with it. Mm. I personally would say I'm happy with what we've given so far. Obviously, we will be given updates on our planned announcements mm. when they come to look, fruition. I do look forward to hearing but, about those yeah. as well. I mean, I, I, I seriously hope that the event we do is, is well received as, long as, the other, as well as the other shows, which I don't develop on. I just know the happening. Mm. So, so yeah, yeah, that's a bit of a. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, we'll get back to that with um, find about that in a bit. Um, so yeah, uh, I sound like I went German there for a second, but okay. Um, next up, we have Game Show League, the first of the major of the big three this evening. Now, I will mention. I'll preface this with overall. I think. It was a much more restrained event for the big three, um, Productions, Game Show League, and TOF. This is a much more restrained event compared to previous years where they've announced stuff and they haven't delivered on it. Um, TOF in particular only announced realistically two, well, one big thing or two big things realistically, and that was it. And it shows much more restraint than, uh, than last year and the year prior. Game Show League is interesting in its own right because again it was a short presentation but they did pack quite a lot into it in those few minutes they were on they announced the, that they were doing a Wheel of Fortune RP which actually is going to be pretty good because they do actually really have some really high quality RPs in the lineup and they also announced Jeopardy and this, this is something that I think, I don't know how to describe actually, because I think we have a lot of Jeopardy already, and yeah. there hasn't been much common. Apparently, a lot of the uh, versions of Jeopardy do voice only. So, and there's been no comment so far on whether that will also be the case, or whether there'll be pre registration, or pre registration, or along, or along the, or anything along those lines. Or qualifying like top. Yeah. Qualifying, yeah. Another good one, yeah. So that's also interesting. We have it's, we have the set, and is it going to be a good set? Of CSO, it's a, going to be a fucking amazing set. Regard, uh, you don't need as always need. Um, I don't think I need to say that out loud, but mm, yeah, they ha ah, uh, or has confirmed or has said that they haven't figured out registration yet, and they're just working the set. Fair enough. Fair enough to you. And yeah, I, <clears throat> hmm, yeah. Waffle wants the um, we had a fortune derby to go uh, extra large as well. I mean, that's the uh, Excel format, isn't it? The Excel format point. Um, was it this year or the year before? I think it was this year's, I think. Year before, thank you. Uh, season boy one part left, yeah. <laughs> I was just confused, like mad. It was, but that was realistically the big announcement from GSL. There wasn't any other announcements, no word on other shows that are returning yet. I think that's fair enough. Um, at only one time slot a week, it makes sense that it only announced one show. And I was glad that he didn't pad his uh, presentation out with use of statistics. Uh, uh, statistics. If you want news of statistics, I've got plenty of them coming up later. Uh, yeah, it's going to be... Ah, he's, like, he's joking. Uh, I think one thing I did say, I think I said after their presentation, I said this to... Who did I say it to? I said this to... I think it's guys in the VC. There was no greed on there. And I think I had a response back from Biz... Oh, Biz was in the VC as well, so he kind of commented yeah, on Biz, that as well. Yeah, Biz did commented on that. Uh, he did say, even though it wasn't announced, it was still being worked on. 
Stuck in development hell is what all responds with. So very interesting responses back, but yeah. Yeah, is it, so is it more mm -hmm. stuck in development hell, or is it just in, still in development? I think it's a question, it's a question uh, I'm going to put I'm, there to you guys. I know Both. Of, it, it's more like development hell yes. than what I know of and seen. Mm, uh, the devs are having trouble figuring out a good way <laughs> to be, have the answers like automatically instead of like mainly press if it's right or wrong, mm. I'm guessing. Hmm. Because I know when, well, I didn't bother trying because I, I got a copy of this, of it, the question system from uh, Mr. Martley, funny enough, when they did, they agreed that it's copy and put it over and then coded it up better. Besides that, I didn't try doing the automobile mm -hmm. trip because that, that's probably going to be fucking painful because you have to deal with the undo freebie situation. So. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's I understandable. That's understandable. I just did main wall select, select in and then right or wrong. But it was a very, is it very? Again, it was one of those. It was very much like the. I think it was the TGC presentation I mentioned earlier. Straight to the point, with no, no real reason to hang around and stuff and to linger, and got straight to the point and, yeah. I think that's, I think that's pretty useful, and I think the announcement of Jeopardy is going to go down well with the audience. I think it did, well, actually did pretty well in the polls. I'll review it release later, but it's mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's something to be happy about, and I think T uh, GSL is going to have a very good year or rest of the year ahead of themselves, generally speaking. And next up, Armour Productions now. Obviously, once again, like last year, Armand decides, here is some statistics for you. And a lot of numbers. them. Numbers. Numbers. They make my, they make my statistics look like, um, just look like, uh, I don't even know what how to describe it. But Kitty. Child's play. <laughs> child's play. Yeah. If you want numbers, if you want to know how many uh, people um, has been visiting uh, APS shows, you come to the right place because we have a lot we have a lot on that, on that for courtesy of Game Show Direct. Also, I wasn't a fan of that part of the presentation during the APS and the auction house. I think it was just padding. I mean, the way I look at it, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, I think there's, a, I think generally speaking, it's gonna be a lot of padding from everyone involved anyway. Even yeah, regardless but, of, but... regardless of basically stats. If you play a video yeah. clip, uh, that's going to be padding. If you are now, if you're going to have to describe a show like uh, Studio sixty four or, or um, LP did for almost every show that on their on their sec in their sections, that's going to be padding. It's everything that isn't the announcement itself is going to be padding in this in this kind of event. So you kind of so it's kind of something that you can't really help. And yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, it's maybe announcements or not announcements. Maybe statistics might be padding that might get on people's nerves a bit more, especially when it's something like statistics about show numbers, because I think then I think it might be rubbing in towards people who don't get like, that many people in their shows. Um, I feel like it yeah. does not really need it for something like this. And overall, the grand thing of things you think about it, because you're focused on announcing your show yeah, that's the or, point I was trying to make. Like, like, sh like shoving statistics is kind of unnecessary. Like, you know it's how kind of like top, kind of like almost I believe got the almost like the low end in the big group side of last year's because they bring in a bunch of statistics. I'm like, not. Uh, like the demographic I'm going to fact check that. I'm going know. to fact check that now, right as well. Right now as well, but I don't think that was actually the case. Um. Uh, I'm gonna come in and back check on that as well. So please bear with me on that. I'm about, um, I'm saying low end as in not of uh, in the top. Three. Oh no. Just, yes, just a random question, but was there really a need for the statistics for APS in the first place? To me, Is... um, uh, no, because their numbers, even though the numbers did group for their show highest. It, at, it was great. only increased by one, like at highest. Either like one five. through four people. 
it didn't really yeah. If it's like a big jump, say like a difference of ten, then yeah, I feel like you should you can you can announce that. But if it's like a small mm-hmm. change, like one through five ish, I really yeah, think it was I not needed. Um, fact check right now. Fact check coming in of course, uh, from last year's exit poll. Uh, Toph actually had the best major group lineup last year in the poll. This is last year's poll, and they also, I think, yeah, and they also had uh, one of the highest scoring shows of the year as well. That uh, I think as well with um, or best they had best. I think they had yeah they had best you show announcement of the of the evening last year as well. The Golden Bulls. I was talking about almost like presentation, not announcement. Oh, that much. did that didn't happen, did it? I don't remember Golden Balls happening. No, Golden that was Balls last. Was, that was last uh, year's. That was last year's. To confer, yeah, uh, just to Balls specify, was that was last year's. Never got yeah. any more info about that. Yeah. Well, there was a clip in that clip in the uh, in the uh, uh, in the video that they sent out earlier or during the show. I would just put, uh, that I had it in there, and I'll get to that a bit later because I'm actually spending a lot of time. Lingering on stuff right now, I think. But yeah, basically, we had uh, talk of statistics from APS. I think the reason, actually, I will quickly one last point on this, and this is my point as well. I think this is more of a thing to make them look more professional. Uh, I've said that, I think I said last year that they said uh, that it was a thing where if they say that. Uh, if they say they're gonna or if they show ratings, it's more it's uh because they're treating it as a like quarterly earning score or half uh, or an annual earning score or something like that. I think that's the reason why they do it. It's because it make because uh, to them it makes them feel more professional than anyone else or to, than the other groups that present because they actually have to see it to back them up themselves up. That is yeah, just my that, that is just my take on it. I know we did talk about how racism <laughs> did sometimes affect the group. Sometimes positive and negative way before in the past. And to put it bluntly, there weren't many announcements in here. There weren't really anything to ride home about. Um, the only real notable things I would say is we had a more general dates for Splash, which was August. And I said this yeah, earlier. I think that's a good time of recording. Yeah, I I have that on confirmation as well because they mentioned that in the announcement. Uh, we also had reconfirmation about Lingo, which I yep, think that's back at the which is going to be back. The, the uh, promotion, most yeah. promotion yeah, for they have no idea what will happen as well. And Family Feud. Um, uh, can I just say something about the they will have no idea what that is show that's mm. that show. Speaking of one of the hosts of that show, going. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm just gonna have one of one of the critique on the show. Generally, I'm kind of glad that it's a, a one month, like a, sh- a one month show, because it has been two hours, and I'm pretty sure either they just finished or they're still going. And when I had to host it, I, I don't know. It just, it, it's not like the format felt wrong. It just like it felt long and like still kind of a little bit boring. Yeah, I, they're still I going. Okay, mentioned that yeah. they. From what I heard from Utorn, actually, funny enough, yeah, they did start it like almost. Half an hour late. Yeah, I don't know why they did because they didn't like remind us at the time. Because like I don't remember what happened when they said when why we were starting late. But like when we started at first, because the only reason why we took so long was because the first game that we had an explorer or someone was like messing with the stuff on the first one, and then everything else just became more slow. And then it got to the point where I was just because I had to go to orbs, and I'm currently at orbs right now. But like I, I was at the point where I just had to go to it and just like deal with it. But like I don't want to do that unless like they change something about it. Can't wait to see that on YouTube at some point this week. Um Yikes. Um yeah. sounds like sounds I mean to be fair, first time episode as well. I'll cut them some slack there. It's the first time they did it. It's nothing I mean, well it's not it's I not like I'm not cutting them slack. I'm I'm just I'm just like wishing it to be mm. yeah, it's gonna it's teething issues. Every show is gonna have teething issues, Doran. You can't say this one may take two hours. This one may have taken two hours. Maybe the next one will take about an hour and a half. I can't really, you know, it's teething issues. Every show has them. Mm-hmm. But back, getting back onto the announcements or the lack thereof announcements from ABS. Um, the biggest yeah, or the biggest one that 
or the biggest announcement that came from them realistically was an image. And it was an image of the shows that are coming up in the second half of the year. We have Do You Want Deal, which is currently having, uh, Millionaire Hot Seat. Or, actually, there was one big announcement from them that I probably bigger than this. Uh, we the Fortune, Rush Roulette, Limitless Win, The Chase, Super Chase, and the Return of Millionaire. Yep, winner. Well, and that'll be a good the big way. announcement of their of the uh, of the presentation from them was that it's going to be for twenty thousand robux again for the uh, for a month. Twenty thousand robux a month. Robux a month is back, mm-hmm. and that's normally well. Let's be real. It's the biggest price on offer in the year. Um, yes, currently so far, yeah. Yeah, it's price. the biggest price on offer in the community this year, like at any point in the year, and that's always worth something. But do I think this was worth? The uh, coming to Game Show Direct, I wouldn't say it was. No, because I think it's just. just, I think this was a wasted opportunity for APS, and I think if they had, if we had even a spitch of something up or new from them, I think, yeah, or just a general revival or something, or, or some sort of other announcement. I think this would have been a much. I think people wouldn't have been so hard on it and I said uh, I say yeah. as well though I will give them some credit for not announcing any new shows I will give them that credit because let's be real the amount of shows that get announced at these, at these as Game Show Direct compared to the uh, shows that actually yeah when they've been announced at Game Show Direct is staggering I mentioned this before I mentioned it in the poll yeah, I mentioned it ag- and I mentioned it again in both editions over half of the shows or almost half of the shows at least half the shows have that have been announced at Game Show Direct are still yet to air or have not aired. So mm-hmm. I will give them credit for that for not announcing that. But I think at the same time, if they aren't going to announce anything, they need to announce something. I and while I twenty thousand Robux is something, I don't think it was the thing that actually, yeah. Get I'll them. Say this. Uh, if actually, it's the thing like, say, for announce. example, it was going to be inside a new set or something more of a twist to it instead of breaking the top price to 20,000 Robux, it's basically then it may, took, it may take the uh, interest of the hype for APS mm. to the top. Isn't it basically just, just having it as a big announcement that something you've done in the past before mm. when for it, a month. Jamal? It was not when? really that special. Yeah, when it just it's be like another become season like a of Millionaire, but the top price has just increased. Yeah, that's just kind of. It's just kind of. There's no point of announcing if it's just the top prizing. Yeah, it feels like APS didn't have a lot of announcements. No. Yeah, not at all. But I will say though, they but the return, the, their big announcement did fail. But the other announcements of shows returning that were missing in action for a very long time, like Russia Roulette, that one was more hype than mm. the big one. Like the smaller parts. Overshadow the big one, in mm. my opinion. Yeah, I think that's the best way to put it. I think I think that's the best way I could describe, uh, describe the APS presentation. I think it was a very as one where the smaller parts actually were bigger news than the larger part than the sum of the larger parts. And with that, that wraps up the first half of this two-part uh, special edition of the podcast uh, if you're watching us on day of release we'll be back tomorrow with the second half which includes Toff Studios The Price of Right Robloxia, Horizon and Mikey Does Stuff all that remains for me to do is thank the people who partook and also the group owners and representatives uh, the group owners in this part were Yellow and uh, we had a representative from uh, GSL II Awesome we also had as a representative from LP, we also, uh, there was also uh, SSJ. And also, I want to thank anyone who partook in the conversation generally and openly discussed everything. But yeah, thank you ever so much for listening to this first part of the podcast. We'll be back tomorrow, uh, we'll be back soon with the second part. Please have a good one. Please do stay safe. Bye bye.